We are talking about sun today and guys, I have something pretty special for you today. Let me introduce you to Zoom's brand new 32-bit float audio interfaces. This is a game changer when recording audio and I will tell you why as well as cover the specs and do an audio test compression. So make sure to watch the entire video, it will be a quick and informative one. But first, intro. What's up everyone, Peter here. Zoom really is the brand new UAC 232 is a two-channel input version, 32-bit float audio interface. These products are industry first and what really separates them from the competition is that these audio interfaces are equipped with 32-bit float recording technology, giving the ability to record persistent audio directly to your devices. The technology built into the UAC series captures the highest audio quality possible with an ultra-wide dynamic range and an incredibly low noise floor. If you are just as excited about these features as I am, please show it by smashing that like button. It would be a great help for the growth of the channel and this community that we are building, we are trying to build. I cannot emphasize enough what a game changer the 32-bit float recording is. Along with the sample rates up to 192 kHz processing audio at an increased beat depth and that full bandwidth is just next level. Oh, and the best part of all this is done without needing to set gain. The benefit that this brings to the table is a peace of mind by ensuring that the audio will never clip. No matter how loud or soft the signal, the audio capture is crisp and clean. The build quality is superb, the industrial design is sleek, you get individual signal indicators for each channel and dedicated phantom power adjustments as well. Plus, you get main and headphone outputs, direct monitoring and MIDI in and out. For the audio test, let's play a game. I read the line speaking quietly and loudly and we will compare it with the known 32-bit float recording. The secret I'm about to tell you is that this feature is insane for sure. The secret that I'm about to tell you is that this feature is insane for sure. Now, if you check the waveforms, you can see how you can balance the 32-bit float and everything will be on the same level, while the non-float version is just too quiet or clipping at the loud parts. Now, this is why it is a game changer for me. But how about you? Do you see the incredible edit value? Would you use it to replace your current audio interface? Let's discuss it in the comment section. One thing I didn't cover is what mic I used. Well, it's the legend itself, the Sennheiser MKH416. Having a great mic is half of the equation, so why don't you check my review out of this awesome microphone, it's right here. Like, comment, subscribe by uh, smashing the notification bell as well, tons of content coming up, thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next one, maybe in this, and I put the share here as well, check them out. Thanks for watching, bye.